first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself and your process growing up. Wow, where do I start with that, Ty? That's like a kindergarten or a... Sure. No, get out of here. <laughs> no, you know, I, I think for the all intents and purposes, the, probably the best place to start would be in grad school. Okay. So I was at the University of Washington in Seattle, and of course at that point you're supposed to start uh, acting like you know what you're doing, and no one does. But I had an experience there that set me on a different course eventually. And um, so I, I lived in the northeast section of Seattle. I went to school at the UW, which was up there. But I worked in the southwest corner as an art framer. So I'd take a bus down to Pike Street Market and catch another bus out to work. And so one morning I was heading to work, and a, a local guy, homeless guy, was working the crowd for money. And he had a long overcoat, and he kind of looked at me, and then he just nodded, and I nodded back. And he worked through the suit, guys, and uh, inadvertently dropped a bottle of liquor out of his coat, and it made a very distinct pinging sound. Caught the attention of all the people at the bus stop. Uh, Pike Street Market is the top of a hill. The bottle starts rolling down the hill on the sidewalk. Everyone's watching. He's frozen, trying to figure out what is happening. The bottle curves towards this big curb, and people actually simultaneously breathe in. Yeah, and I watched this happen. And the bottle, they anticipated the bottle would break. It rolls over and makes a very sharp pinging sound, but does not break. And about 20 people exhale simultaneously. Then they looked up, and the bus is coming. It's this giant reticulated bus. So it's a bus and a half with an accordion. And uh, they're big tires, and they're looking at the bus, they're looking at the bottle, and uh, they all breathe in again. And then they hear the wheels of the bus pushing the bottle in the gutter, but it doesn't break, and they all exhaled again. Then the gentleman that dropped the bottle scurries over, gets the bottle, turns around to get away, and everyone applauds him spontaneously and it wasn't making fun of it was just like this moment and he scurries off he's embarrassed and uh, then the doors open and they all put that downtown going to work look and they just get on the bus and I missed my bus because I watched this thing happen and I thought to myself I I'm learning how to paint right now but if I could make art that would spontaneously unify groups of people into an event a positive event um, that would be the greatest art I could ever make.